uh, some of you, as you may know, yesterday was my birthday. I am a, I am a, a 29 years young. Ha ha ha! I'm in the, I'm in the best shape of my life, and that's the first joke I've told tonight. Uh, we gotta open some presents for a birthday stream, right? These aren't necessarily birthday presents, but they are parcels that arrived at the Gatorbox P.O. Box, which is P.O. Box uh, 2429 Fulton, Texas 78358, eight. just in case you want to send me some shit. Uh, this first box comes to us from iWaddle, and it's very reasonably sized. iWaddle's a name that uh, is familiar to me from my time working with Mini Clip and Club Penguin, so he's... Uh, he sent me something here. It cost him seven, $7.75 to send this all the way from Pennsylvania. I've already cut the tape partially so that, you know, I can rip it open on stream. And uh, inside the box appears to be appears to be Club Penguin stuff, which is what which is kind of what I was guessing. This is kind of what I was guessing. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let me move my coal out of the way so I don't spill it uh, right out right out the box. Right out the box, it's it's Aunt Arctic. You might remember her from the the case of the missing puffles. <laughs> I never actually owned any of the merchandise for for Club Penguin, so this is uh, this is this is this is really neat. This is really special. This is uh oh shit. We didn't get to see this guy during our stream, but this is uh this is Sensei. He was the guy who was in charge of card jitsu, and he's got the uh. You know the hat, which I'm pretty sure these days would probably be considered problematic, along with the big, the big beard, and he's got, he. It, this is kind of creepy. He has no eyes. This is the one you might recognize from my shirt. This is this is Captain Rockhopper, Captain Captain Mother F and Rockhopper. This was the very first character I believe that they ever introduced into the game, like the first, the first original in-game character with like their own backstory and stuff i think it was rock hopper he showed up on a ship and then i think they introduced antarctic and then they introduced the sensei uh in that order and then after that i lost track gary the gadget guy is in here somewhere i think he he came on board around the same time as antarctic oh hang on there's more stuff there's there's coins what the hell <laughs> okay there's uh Official uh, these must be what official club penguin coins look like have a have a look at that this got one They're all one one dollar denominations with uh, oh, what was the fish mullet fish was called mullet. I think What's on the other? Oh, there's well, there's codes for something Yeah, rock hopper and then a generic generic one. I don't think those codes are worth anything anymore So I'm not really too worried about covering them up. They've probably been redeemed Those are from iWaddle. Thank you. iWaddle. Um <laughs> I do appreciate that. Those were, uh, I'm going to cherish those. And one of those is going to go, one of those is going to go on that shelf back here. In fact, there's an open spot right there for one of them, um, while I'm still decorating. So I do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, up next, I do not know who this one came from because its return address is a drop shipper from China. So this one <laughs> was probably ordered from fucking Banggood or Alibaba, and they put in my address, and they just uh, they they just shipped it straight to me. Uh, so I don't know who this came from. If you're if you're in the chat right now, feel free to claim credit for it uh, if you know what it is. I'm gonna ask real quick, bro. Did you send me this? <laughs> I'm just I'm just asking because what this appears to be is um yeah god damn it it's fucking Five Nights at Freddy's Minecraft figurines that's what's in here oh yeah these are absolutely bootleg they came from China oh he comes he comes with a sword and everything okay well we've got here we've got I guess we've got the whole gang let's just run through it real quick we got oh my god the Something, something literally just fell off this guy. Hang on, what was that? <laughs> so I guess it bodes well. Okay, something else just fell out of Freddy. What was that? What is this? It's a oh okay. It's a it's a piece of, it's a little piece of chaff from I guess the, I guess from the plastic molds he came from. Uh, at least that's what I hope that is. Let me uh. Is there any? 
Okay. So he comes with a sword, and the sword just kind of... The sword actually clips into his hand pretty well, so they, they made these from stolen modes. Uh, they made these from stolen molds. I don't know, man. It feels like his legs, like... Well, they're ball joints, so I guess that's all right. The, that's okay. The, the quality is not as bad. He is missing his... He is missing his ears. I, I will say that. All right, you can just lay down then. So this is Foxy. I, yeah, this is Foxy again without ears. So they're, yeah, these are all pieces of. They, <laughs> they're all just shedding these these weird pieces of of chaff every time I try to move them. It's like their it's like their arms are secured to their bodies for packaging. And then as soon as I move them, these two little things knock loose on all of them. Here's here's Foxy again without ears and without a Foxy has a hook for a hand, right? So they fucking botched that too. I mean I know it's Minecraft, but they could have like, you know, made one of one of her hand if Foxy's a it's Foxy he or she, I don't even fucking know. So this is this is Bonnie, and if I move Yeah, okay. So hang on, Bonnie has to shed some purple pieces of plastic before I can give Bonnie this sword. I think Bonnie is the name of the bunny. That one I'm pretty pretty certain of. There we go. Bonnie gets the Bonnie gets the diamond sword. So uh what is this right now? What Freddy okay. Well Freddy also has a diamond sword. Freddy, Bonnie Whatever. Last one the last one is Chica. This is this is I I recognize this one because she's the one that has the bib that says let's eat. Ah <laughs> okay. Chica doesn't have chaff hidden inside of her underarms like everybody else. Probably because she showers. So, um, strangely enough, though, she comes with a flower. But uh, the flower, I think, like, that, what I'm what I'm guessing is a flower. But the flower doesn't have like the little serrated thing on the bottom, so I don't think she can actually hold it. Well. I can force I can force it in, in, into her hand so she can hold it, but she's got she's the only one that doesn't come with a weapon. Um, so yeah, this is a complete fucking set of Five Nights at Freddy's Minecraft figurines. Clearly, um, unofficial. They came from straight from China. God damn it, Freddy! Just fucking stand up, just just for a second. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. <laughs> I just want to say real quick though, I can feel, I can feel the autism radi radiating off of this as we speak. This is, this is, uh, this is like, uh, fucking, um, uh, PPAP. It's like, I have a Minecraft, I have a Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, I have autism. Uh, there's nothing on the back of them, by the way, since uh, someone asked. There's nothing, nothing there. It's only painted on the front, and the pieces are completely hollow on the insides of the legs, just like true knockoff Chinese imitation products to save as much plastic as possible. Um, for every, you know, every every 20 hollow legs on Bonnie is one more Bonnie that they can make on the production line and sell for 17 cents. You know, that's um, that's money in the bank right there. I mean, it's only 17 cents, but that's, you know, when you think about it economically, that 17 cents you didn't have beforehand so it, just trust me on this the math checks out so thank you to whoever sent me five nights at freddy's minecraft there these don't stand up i'm gonna have to figure out some way to get them to stand okay you know what check this out if i just show them to you from the back it looks like banjo and kazooie you wouldn't even know until i rolled them over it's like ah prank you it's fucking five nights at freddy's ha <laughs> ha you th you almost thought it was something good for a second get ukulele out on steam right now folks so this last package might be the first time I ever have to open something and show it to that camera up here because it's this. Oh, I hit the fan. Look at how big this is. This is from this is from Sal. Here, there we go. Yeah, this is from Sal. He sent me the world's biggest joint. Thank you. It's it's a it's clearly it's a poster tube. And then what he did was he got a second poster tube, cut it in half. And right here, he taped it around to make it one and a half times the length of a regular poster tube. I mean, I know what's going to be in here. It's going to be a poster. It's got to be a poster. Well, <laughs> it's either a poster or it's either a really big bad dragon toy. It's one or the other, am I right? 
Seven dollars and twenty cents. Are you shitting me? The package from the package from iWaddle literally costs fifty-five cents more to send. This <laughs> this little box, this little thing cost fifty-five cents more to ship than this massive fucking giant poster tube. That's the post office for you, ladies and gentlemen. You wonder why they keep raising the price of stamps and they're about to go out of business. Um, well, I noticed right on the inside, there's it says, For the glory of Satan, of course. Is that a sticker that I can peel off? Or That might be a reusable sticker. It looks like it's contact paper, so uh, I gotta find something I want to put that on and then not take it off again so it doesn't lose its sticky. <laughs> yeah, we've got some stickers because we've also got a Brack sticker. Uh... Jesus Christ. Is it full of... No, it's not full of stickers. That's too heavy to be all stickers. Holy shit. If it's all stickers, I'm gonna have a... I'm gonna have a fucking autism fit. Let me get some more stickers out. Uh, this is... An, an Illuminati sticker that says, Stay Noited? I'm not sure I... I'm not sure I get the reference. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody in the chat telling me... Or someone in the chat, someone in the comments telling me how much of a fucking idiot I am. It's like, geez, Draco, you uncultured fuck. You don't know what stay noited means? No. Noid is, uh, noid is, is, is a uh, Domino's pizza thing to me because, you know, I'm, I'm 29 and all that. Um, it's another stay noited. We got two of those. One, one, <laughs> one to keep, one to sell. <laughs> uh, we've also got another for the glory of Satan. We've got... <laughs> Have you dreamed this man? There is one. <laughs> God damn it, Sal. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use this sticker. This sticker's too good. It's it's Viper. It's Viper. Y'all cowards don't even smoke crack. Oh, are you fucking kidding me. This is is it a no, this is bigger than a theatrical poster. Because theatrical posters are 27 by 40. This is clearly bigger than that. Is there any? Is there any more? Wait. Up. Oh, we got some. We got some more stickers in the bottom. Oh shoot, Jumon, you might like. This is this is one you might like. We'll take a look at the sticker in a second. We've got um, we've got that fucking Macintosh Vaporwave album. But if you look closely, it's got it's it's Viper's face that's been photoshopped onto the statue. Is uh is Knuckles? I don't. I'm not familiar with this meme, but I know that that guy is supposed to be Knuckles, and I think it's the. This is from uh. God damn, the animator. He's uh. He's the guy that says, "I'm not Tails. I'm Blails, and I'm not Sonic. I'm Blonic." I don't know who animates that, but I, I, this is. I, I recognize the style. Oh my God! This is not. This is not gonna. This is not happening. Okay. Oh, it is double-sided. Fuck. Oh, I can't do this. I can't un- You have given me something that cannot be unboxed. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna unfold it. And look at the camera. What fucking movie is this? Is this the Da Vinci Code or some shit? God damn. How big is- Okay, I'm, I'm going to reach into the fan if I reach up any higher. I just saw M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> it's the vil the village. Jesus fucking Christ. This wasn't even a good movie. What warrants a poster this goddamn big? It's as big as me. Where the fuck am I gonna hang I have nowhere to hang this. Like nowhere. There's some shelves behind me, that's it. I can't even put it above the shelves. The village. Go see the village on Gatorbox. Check it out on Netflix. Use coupon code Gatorbox. Get, get your first, get, start streaming. You can watch People vs. O.J. Simpson. He, spoiler alert, he totally did it. Never enter the woods. That's where they... That's where they wait. Never enter the woods. There you, there you go. Keep that. Don't go in there. <laughs> now I gotta... Now I gotta roll this up. Without destroying the poster. Okay. <laughs> That's the, that's the, that's the Shyamalan twist. The poster just keeps going. <laughs> yeah, no, I got to roll it up. It's probably worth it's worth it's worth whole dollars. We're we're talking here. Actually, these stickers are probably worth more than the poster, but 
that was uh Jesus Christ. Uh thank you, Sal. I will um try to find some place to hang up that this magnificent poster and I'll uh, I'll I'll post a Twitter picture as soon as I figure out uh where it's going to go. Um spoiler alert, it might um it might be in the garage because that's the only place where I can think of where there's like that much <laughs> that's that's basically floor to ceiling wall space is what that poster requires and that's the only place I can think of where I have floor to ceiling wall space is, is in the garage. All in all, um I'd have to say it's a pretty good day. Pretty good impromptu birthday presents. So thank you. Uh, thank you again. I waddle Sal and uh, whoever's responsible for this autism right here. Uh, I, I, I uh, do appreciate it. I would say uh, it is a pretty good haul. It's a lot better than the shit you get in a loot crate. That's for goddamn sure. So uh, yeah, if, if you're checking this out, you want to send some stuff to the Gator Box post office box. It's uh, Gator Box, P.O. Box 2429, Fulton, Texas 78358. You can check that out. Um, don't send me anything hazardous. You can send me meme shit like this. I think this is this is funny. But like, don't send me anything that's like gross or whatever because I won't uh, I won't uh, open that on stream. I do I do vet the contents, sort of somewhat to see what's in here. Like if, if it's a book or something, I know I know that's what it is. But...